Good evening again, fellow collectors, August 30th, 2009. And in our second video tonight, we're going to look at some vintage auctions on the Coach's Corner auction site. Uh, let's get right to it. Let's get right to lot number two. This one here will uh, kind of amuse you, even though it's quite serious that it's like this. But lot number two is a 1932 New York Yankees team signed baseball with the likes of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Tony Lazari, etc., etc. And it's always interesting that on this vintage stuff, there's always inscriptions from the Coach's Corner stuff. Always inscriptions. In other words, Babe Ruth, way back then, probably said to himself, you know, someone's going to want to know if this is my autograph or not, so I better put an inscription in there to guarantee that I signed this and that it came from 1932. And of course, we all know who it's authenticated by. Chris, I never saw an autograph I didn't like. Morales. Of course, all those autographs are... Very, very bad fakes. Those inscriptions every single month. The, the Ruth inscriptions, the, the Mickey Mantle inscriptions, the number seven. It's just incredible that only from the coach's corner. This one, of course, you'll recognize. This one is up every single month. Jimmy Fox forgery on a nice, bright white baseball. Authenticated by the clowns of authentication. Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. Uh, I think they use the same photograph because it has that same smudge on the double X on Jimmy Fox. That's incredible. A very bad forgery that's up every single month. Every single month on the Coach's Corner auction site. Authenticated by Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. Who wouldn't know an autograph from a hole in the wall. Alright. Let's get to lot number four. A really, really bad Babe Ruth autograph. As a matter of fact, this particular one is from the Babe Ruth story. And it's cast, signed, William Bendix, Babe Ruth, etc., etc. Holy, this Babe Ruth is just ugly and horrible. Just like lot number two, if you browse it, oh my, these autographs, these Babe Ruth autographs are really, really terrible forgeries. And this one, again, is authenticated by Stat Authentic. And they just give blanket authentication to everything. They just, they authenticate anything they get their hands on just to put it up for auction. Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens, they don't know autographs. We all know that already, don't we? Again, another one from Rallis. Lot number five, a very, very bad. Lou Gehrig. Oh, on a baseball, of course, a side panel. Uh, by Chris, I never saw an autograph. I didn't like Morales. Another Lou Gehrig forgery. And uh, one horrific and hideous. Uh, he just, um, I have yet to find anything from Morales that I can truly say is authentic. And believe me, I've been looking. I just, I really can't find any. Uh, this is going to be a really, really bad and shaky Roberto Clemente. Lot number eight, authenticated by Morales. And uh, none of this stuff is going to pass any type of uh, major authentication service. This is just a really bad Roberto Clemente. Just horrible. And another one from Morales, lot number nine. Again, look at that. The best wishes are in there, of course. It's Coach's Corner, so best wishes or number seven or something's got to be in there or some kind of date, right? Got to be in there. Jackie Robinson. No, that's not Jackie Robinson's autograph. I really have to ask you, Mr. Morales. I don't know if you watch my videos or not, but do you look at these in person? Because I can tell from photographs that these are fakes. So I want to know if you look at these in person. If you're looking at these in person and authenticating these uh, this crap, you got a problem. All right, let's go to uh, lot number ten. Another Babe Ruth fake, authenticated by. Mar they claim the coach's corner, Lee Trithall and Scott Malik, that the BV, the book of value on this, is twenty-five thousand dollars, and yet the bidding is up to a whopping five hundred and twenty-five dollars. A whopping five hundred and twenty. I've noticed in the last few months. The amount of money being bid on this stuff is uh, less and less. Let's go right to a lot number 11. A cut, Joe DiMaggio, Marilyn Monroe. No, it is not their autographs. And if you look really, really close on the auction site, you'll see just how really bad that Joe DiMaggio is. It's really, really... And if you read the auction description, it reads something to the effect of similar pieces have sold for as much as $60,000. Yeah, rightly, right, Scott. Just horrible. 
Uh, lot number 19, a really super shaky, just bad, I mean, just bad, Rogers Hornsby. Uh, lot number 15, authenticated by Morales, who seems to authenticate everything that comes into his hands. Uh, a really, really bad Rogers Hornsby. And lot number 19, another, another Morales special, Dazzy Vance, brother of Dizzy, and of course, Walter Johnson. No, that's not their autographs, but... In order for it to sell, he's got to authenticate it, so uh, Coach's Corner can put it up for auction. Authenticated by Morales. No, it's not. Walter Johnson's autograph doesn't look anything like that. It's incredible. And lot number 22. A really, really bad Ty Cobb. It's got a, they, they claim it's got a, a COA and a matching hologram from the AAU of Las Vegas. Whatever the hell that means. And it's not Ty Cobb's autograph, lot number 22. And for like the fourth or fifth month in a row, guess what? Another Mike King Kelly autograph from the Coach's Corner. And authenticated by Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. Nobody else, nobody else has Mike King Kelly autographs, but Coach's Corner, they've got one up every month now. There's a cut or a softball or something up every month on the Coach's Corner. It's totally incredible. I really want to know who's signing those because we all know it's not Mike King Kelly, and you guys know it. Uh, let's go to lot number 326. I, oh, guess what? Wow. Coach's Corner with a big surprise. A Mickey Mantle autographed bat with a bunch of inscriptions. Wow. Authenticated by who? Yes, Chris Morales. Does anybody think that that's Mickey Mantle's autograph? I hope not because it isn't. Look at that really, really bad Mickey Mantle. That's horrible. You guys, you guys pretty much make me sick. Let's go to uh, the usual bad Mel Ott on the Coach's Corner auction site. Uh, lot number 209. Yep, authenticated by Morales. He authenticates vintage stuff like it's going out of style and nobody else. Let me tell you something. At least 90% of all the vintage autographs out there in the marketplace of forgeries, yet every month Coach's Corner's got them in just tremendous quantity. Every single month. Now this one is a really tough autograph to get and uh, Coach's Corner in their item description it's readily, they, they actually say that. But guess what? They always have one, a Neil Armstrong autograph baseball. Does anybody think that's real? Lot number 321? If you read it, one of the toughest autographs to get. No kidding, but guess what? Coach's Corner always has one. No, that is not Neil Armstrong's autograph. And yes, it is very difficult to get. And uh, Neil Armstrong has a very, very unique style when he signs his autograph. And that is not it. So anyway, I'm going to do two more Coach's Corner uh, videos on some other stuff. So until then, I will see you sometime during the week. Talk to you guys later.